Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. Good news on Monday, beauty fans, Glossier.com starts shipping to the UK. And this has caused so much excitement amongst all beauty aficionados, beauty editors who, let's be honest, the minute we all landed in New York, we would all go in search of the Glossier studio, which is such a strange experience because you go there expecting it to be a shop and you have to go through this little side entrance and up in a lift past the office and then you come out. So it's not even at the ground floor, has no shop window or anything. And it was like being let into sort of a, a cool secret society beauty members club. And that's the first place we would all go and we would all try and buy all the products that we'd read about in Allure and American magazines. And we were so excited when Emily Weiss, the founder, came over and invited us all out to supper and gave us the good news. And if I was to explain what Glossier was like as a brand, it's basically, it, it's, it's, well, it's, it's the epitome of Emily Weiss, who, if you Google any pictures of her, is this beautifully chic, understated, New York woman who has a background in beauty journalism and who just gets that the vast majority of women do not want to be overly made up and that's the foundations of what Glossier stands for. It's that it's that beautiful blurring line between skincare and makeup that makes you look like the best version of you but technically it's that I woke up and just look like this. I naturally look like this. There's no heavy formulations, no heavy makeup, no heavy concealers. Everything is formulated to look like your skin but better. And uh, they've just introduced skincare as well. And I'm just gonna, I've done a bit of a haul and I'm gonna go through the things I really love and I think are definitely worth buying. And I'm gonna go through the things that I think, mm, not so much, but some people love them, okay? So let's start with the thing that I fell in love with straight away and that is Stretch Concealer. Now Stretch Concealer is 15 pounds and I think it comes in four or five shades. I need to check that for you. Actually, have I written that down? I've got it all here. Yeah, so Stretch Concealer is 15 pounds and it comes in five shades. And the way that Glossier uh, does it is it does light, medium, dark. And I've currently got medium under my eyes, but I'll be really honest with you. I could use a medium uh, around my eyes here, but I actually need dark under around my nose. And that shows you that Glossier pigments tend to come up lighter than they appear. And then they go light, medium, dark, and then they do uh, deep and rich. So five shades, let's have a look. So deep is that shade, which is not really that dark. It's a small company, please don't criti be critical about it for not doing like 47 Fenty shades. I'm sure the more successful it becomes, the more shades it'll do. And that is rich, and that's the darkest shade it does. And this is what I love about Stretch Concealer, and it is because I'm a woman of a certain age, by far and away my favourite product in the range. It goes on around your eyes, and it moves with your skin. It doesn't crack, it doesn't sit in fine lines, it doesn't go powdery, it literally stretches with your skin. And the fact that, because I'm lazy, I can use it around my eyes, around my nose, I've never actually worn it on a spot, but I presume it would also sit quite well on spots. It's a super lightweight formulation and it lasts for ages. In fact, it lasts all day. If, like me, you like quite a matte finish, you can set it with a powder, but you actually don't even need to set it with a powder. It is, without a doubt, the best little pot concealer I've ever tried. And that says a lot, because I've tried a lot and I have quite dark circles under my eyes and also lots of fine lines as well. But I know young people that love it as well. That's without a doubt the one thing that when I went to New York months ago, before I got to try anything and I went shopping with my own money, that I took home and I used the most. I also brought home Cloud Paint. Now Cloud Paint is their their little cult tubes of blusher. And these are really beautiful. Now the one I brought back with me was, let's have a look at the color here, Beam. And actually it's too light. This is the other thing is again, because, and I understand what Emily's trying to do, she's trying to make something seem like your skin but better. They're not, they're not gonna, none of the products are gonna give you a massive pigment punch. They're just not. So my advice to you will always go upper pigment to air on the side of caution. Things tend to come out lighter than you expect. So I tried Beam and it didn't give a lot of colour. And then I went up to Dusk, which I quite like, which is that colour. 
to your skin. I've put more on my hand there so you can see it there. But this is the one I really like, okay. I really like um, Haze. And Haze gives you that proper Benny tint pop of sort of what I call snow white colour. Sorry, incoming. Should have turned off my computer and made it quiet, even though I wait until Friday when things go quiet to film. One of the products that I know all the beauty editors love is Boy Brow, and Boy Brow is their tinted brow gel. But for me, that brush is not sophisticated enough to use on my brush, my back brows. It's, it's, it's too large. It creates too much space for me. I like Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Brows, and the reason I like that is because it's got the, the, the smallest, longest, finest, most delicate spoolie there is. However, my friend Sophie on L, who has the most beautiful, chunky, gorgeous modern brows, swears by that. So if you've got chunky brows, go for it. For me, I prefer something that gives me slightly more control because I don't have, I mean, I have sort of medium brows, I don't have fine brows. So that's my problem with that. Should we go on to skincare? They do something called the supers, and the supers are three serums, and very cleverly, taking their cue from somewhere like Desio More The Ordinary. They give them a really cute name, but underneath they tell you the active ingredients. And I kind of like that, because you know The Ordinary, you can go like, what the hell do all those active ingredients mean? They haven't gone obscure, they've gone mainstream, proven to work active ingredients, but with cute names. And they are really lovely little bottles as well. They are 24 pounds each, or you can get all three for 60 pounds. So there is Super Bounce, which is hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5. And this is really, really lovely. It um, comes in a really, you will not be surprised to see that it comes in a really cute little glass dropper bottle. And it's a lovely, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. It's a lovely multi-molecular, look at that. Slow drop hyaluronic acid. And you know what? This has gone firmly onto my bathroom shelf. I really love it. It hydrates, it plumps, it gets rid of fine lines straight away. It's just gorgeous. I also like the Super Pure, which is the niacinamide and zinc. No percentages on any of these, so you're not getting a percentage like you would at the ordinary. And it's kind of Decium-ish price. It's cheaper than Decium, I suppose. But that's a really lovely clear one as well. The one I'm not so sure about is the Vitamin C one. It's called Super Glow. Now, incoming again, I so should have turned that off. This, this is my problem with it. It's, it's, it's not pure vitamin C. If you like the Timeless and you love a water-based vitamin C product, you're gonna love this because it is literally water. So the first active ingredient, or the first ingredient is water. Now my problem with vitamin C and water is it's obviously not stable, however, I then looked at the ingredients and realized it wasn't a traditional vitamin C. It's a new gen one. It is and a scorble phosphate. In other words, it's in other words, it's not the most active form of vitamin C. Now, if you're young, you want to use this in the morning as a protective vitamin C, go for it. And you want a water-based vitamin C, it's going to be a lovely morning serum to protect yourself. At night, this is not going to fade any pigmentation. It's simply not powerful enough, but I understand why they've done it in that formulation. And I do think Glossier is a young brand. You know, it's not really aimed at me, let's be honest here. Uh, it should be technically ageless, let's be honest though. It's a young, hip brand. And if you want a replacement for Timeless, a water-based vitamin C, go for it. It's a morning serum. It's a protective serum. It's not what I would call a reparative serum. What else have we got in their skincare? They've got two products here that I'm a bit okay about. There's a really lovely priming moisturiser, but it's just that. It's a super lightweight moisturiser that you can either use on freshly washed skin and it just gives a gentle sort of hydration, or you can layer it on slightly thicker. And also there's a Mega Greens Galaxy Pack mask, which is a side of deep cleansing clay-based mask. Okay. Now, I want to love the Milky Jelly Cleanser and the Milky Jelly Cleanser. By the way, Mega Greens is 18 and the Priming Moisturiser is 18 as well. I want to love the Milky Jelly Cleanser, but I only love it as a second step cleanser. 
It's really lovely. It's quite heavily scented with rose, which is quite a chic sort of, it always reminds me of the Stella Cartney fragrance, that kind of smell. Um, and it's, it's not drying at all. It's beautifully hydrating. But that is not getting this off. So if you use a micellar cleanser first, go for it. Their blurb says it gets rid of makeup. For me, it doesn't get rid of tight liner and mascara, and I'm a tight liner mascara addict, but it's a lovely second cleanse. So for example, if you used a balm cleanser or an oil cleanser first or a micellar cleanser first and use that as a second cleanse, so it's a really lovely cleanser. What else have I got down here? Okay, this on my lips. One of the other things I'm loving about it as well, this is Generation G. It's the closest I'm gonna to be to Generation anything, let's be honest. And Generation G is their beautiful matte lip colours, but they're matte and sheer. So I know that matte is super fashionable. I can't wear that thick, heavy matte. One, my lips aren't large enough. Two, they're kind of quite drying on my lips, even though, you know, I've talked about it before, I've got a little bit of filler in my lips so that I don't have smoker's lines or anything like that. This is kind of perfect incoming. I really love this. This, you can see it on me at the moment, super chic, gorgeous colour. And then what you end up with, there you go, look at that. Look at that. You're not going to find full coverage heavy pigments here. This is not competing with any of the other makeup brands out there. This is, it's almost more of a beautiful lifestyle brand. It's about a little bit on your cheeks, a little bit on your lips, a little bit under your eyes if you need it, a boy brow, you're ready to go. There are no eyeliners in here, there are no mascaras in here so far. It's literally about making the most of your skin and your features. And if you look at Emily Weiss, you'll see it. I mean, she's the embodiment of this brand. It makes complete sense. And that's what's really clever about it. It's, it's very interesting. Beauty editors, I'll tell you, they write about all the trends off the catwalk and they'll write about graphic eyeliner and they'll write about blue eyeliner and glitter brows and all that. None of them are wearing it. They're all basically glossier girls because it's the anti-Instagram makeup. Although this is a beautiful Instagram brand, it's, it's basically the anti-Instagram squared off brow, heavy contouring, you know, there are no contours in here. There are no, I mean, there is a halo highlighting shimmer stick, which I think is very pretty. But you know, it, it's about making the most of you on a day-to-day -day basis. It's that no makeup makeup, I just woke up looking like I live on Fifth Avenue, look. Um, and then, let's finish on a high note though. I'm going to find, what is it down here? Perfecting Skin Tint. Perfecting Skin Tint is that product. It's their water-based foundation. And it's a good one. I really love this product. I've spoken honestly and openly about the fact that I'm lazy and I love mineral powder foundation and I love that demi matte velvety finish. I don't really like a high shine. This would tempt me into liquid foundation. It's a light transparent finish but with a really beautiful demi matte pore blurring effect. I really like it. Now I've got loads of cloud paint on the back of my hand but I'm going to show you how it works. Okay so you shake it up it's super 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 watery like that and let me run it rub it into the back of my hand. Now, it's, obviously this is going over cloud paint so you can't kind of see it properly. Can I just say that's a medium? I think their, their colours need recategorising because I would call that light, I wouldn't call that medium. Now I'm rubbing that back in on the camera so I need to have a check. <gasps> Look how gorgeous that finish is. Now bearing in mind hands are, you know, covered in pores and lines. And that one's covered in makeup as well. Actually that's already got it on there. That is a great product. That is such a beautiful product and that is £20. And you could literally Put that over your moisturiser, your serum in the morning, down the centre of your panel, blend it out and blend it out to nothing and you would not notice the difference apart from the fact that your imperfections would go. It's a beautiful, beautiful water tint foundation. Really, really lovely and not scented as well. That and Stretch Concealer to me are the two hero makeup products. I think Cloud Paint is pretty, but there are other products out there that are really similar. For me, the skincare products that really stand out are the two supers, the niacinamide. Love the hyaluronic acid. Really love the hyaluronic acid. Um, what else have I got here? I've got one final product here, which again, I quite like, um, which is Wowder, which is a gently tinted loose powder. Um, and it's kind of 
kind of okay. It's kind of quite nice. I'm a bit of a powder aficionado, so that's what it looks like when it comes out. It's a gen, and it, again, the tints, you put that on, I think that's gonna have quite a lot of color. Actually, let me show you. I've got a really cute little brush that comes with it as well. I'm sure you know this packaging, don't you? Um, let me show you what it actually looks like here. Um, so I'm putting it on here, and you that, to me, looks like it's gonna be fairly dark. And when it goes on, kind of goes on transparent, even though that is medium. It is medium, I'm just checking it is medium before I say that. Wilder, light medium. Nothing has that much pigment in it. It's all, it all airs on the slightly lighter shade of the pigments. Um, and I'm sure the other thing you know as well, when you've seen it, because you've seen this everywhere, is that's the packaging it comes in. When I went shopping in New York, I got loads of really cool little Glossier stickers as well, and I'll try and find them, because and I'll show them to you, because I'm gonna show all of these products so you can get to see them nice and close. And that's kind of cool, right? They're kind of enclosed pink bubble wraps. That's the thing about Glossier. It's kind of effortlessly cool, just like the founder. Emily Weiss is just effortlessly cool. She really is. So there you go. That's my review of Glossier. Coming to Glossier.com and shipping to the UK first thing Monday morning. How exciting. I've given you pretty much an overhaul of most of the products that are available, the products that I love. There's nothing I actively dislike. There are products that I think aren't for me, or maybe aren't suited to me, but most of all, I think that there is something there for everybody. And I think it's to be celebrated because any brand that wants to reflect back and offer you the chance of a better version of you, and not a mask full of makeup, and not a million skincare steps, so we all get ridiculously confused by what we should be using and in what order, gets my thumbs up. There's my Glossier review. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think below. Let me know if you've used any products and you particularly like them. And I'm hoping that if the UK is a huge success, then eventually Glossier is going to ship through all of Europe and then eventually run down through Asia and into Australia because I've got followers there as well. Thank you much for joining me and I'll see you soon.